Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you a redirect plugin for WordPress that will help you redirect old pages and posts to new ones, either to new ones on your website or to new ones on a different website. And you can even use this to redirect pages. Say you have a sales page that goes down at midnight when the sale ends. You can use this redirect plugin to redirect that page to somewhere else after that sale ends. And there's all kinds of other uses for them, uh, but we're going to install one right now and I'm going to show you how it works. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard. The first thing you have to do is install the plugin. We're going to hover over plugins and then click on add new. In the search bar, we're going to type in redirect plugin. And the one on the right hand side is the one we want, the one called quick page post redirect plugin. So we click on install now. Then we click on activate plugin. And this plugin adds a meta box to your pages and posts that we're going to check out right now. So if we go to post, you can either add a new post or edit an existing post, doesn't matter. I'm just going to edit an existing one. And you should see below your post editor the quick page slash post redirect meta box. If you don't see that, scroll to the very top of the page, click on the screen options button, and then make sure that the quick page post redirect checkbox is checked and then that meta box will appear if it's checked. So there's a couple options in here. You first thing you want to do is you want to have the redirect location. So whatever URL we enter into this field will be the redirect for this page. So if someone goes to visit this page at some point and the redirect is active, they will go to this new URL. So we're just going to call this uh, newpage.com. It's a different domain. Uh, this is just a, a test one. It's not a real domain, as far as I know. Anyhow, uh, you put your URL in here, and then you can have this URL either sit inactive, in which case you just enter the URL and click on update. And then when you're ready, you can then make it active, or you can make it active right now by checking this box. You could make this link open in a new window. So if they're redirected to, or if someone goes to this page, it will then generate the redirect that will then pop up in a new window. They still won't see the old page, but it'll, it'll make a new window for the new page. You can add a no follow attribute, which is for SEO purposes. So the, um, the idea is that if you have the no follow attribute in a link, search engines will not follow that link and they will not pass link juice to that destination. And the show redirect URL in a link. So this is when you hover over uh, a URL, you can see in the bottom box, let's see if I can find a URL on the page. I can't right now, but if you hover over a URL, it shows in, usually at the bottom of the browser, it shows what the destination URL is. So in this case, we're redirecting one page to another. And by default, the URL destination you see when someone hovers over a link will be the page that they're going to. If you check this box, it will show the URL that they're being redirected to instead. And I hope that made sense. It made sense in my head. I hope it makes sense in yours. If it doesn't make sense, know what I'm talking about. Try checking this option and then creating a link to this page and then seeing what happens. And then the last area of uh, customization is the type of redirect. So you can have a 301 permanent, a 302 temporary, a 307 temporary, and a meta redirect. So these, the 301, 302, and 307 all do essentially the same thing. They, actually all four of them do the same thing. They redirect to a page. The 301 tells search engines it's permanent. That old page is never coming back. The 302 says it's temporary. So maybe you ran out of stock on an item and you just want to temporarily redirect to a page that says we're out of stock. That would be a temporary redirect. 307, same thing, temporary. And these function via HT access, the 301, 302, and 307. The meta redirect puts a meta tag on the page that then refreshes the page and sends someone to the new URL. So usually I do a 301 permanent. However, I have done a, a meta redirect in the past. Really, it's a matter of preference, which one you choose. The 301 permanent, the 302 temporary, and 307 temporary are the fastest. The meta redirect, the user will notice some delay if you use that. So you pick the ones you want and then you click on update and there's one more feature of this plugin I have to show you after it's updated. 
if we go back to our posts and we view all the posts, you will now see a redirect column on the far right. If you don't see that, click on Screen Options at the top and make sure the redirect checkbox is checked, that it will appear. So this column is very handy because it shows you that A, the redirect is on, it shows you what type of redirect, and it shows where it's redirecting to. And so you can get a quick overview, if you have a lot of redirects on your site, you can get a quick overview of where they're all being sent. And that's all there is to this plugin. It is a very handy plugin. It means that you don't have to go into your HT Access file to create your redirects. Although I've linked to a video below where you can do that if you want to, or at least learn it if you want to learn it. And happy redirecting. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share this video on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get many more videos like this, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.